Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube video for today. So, for this video, we are going to discuss how to use VLOOKUP if the return column that you want is on the left side. So, for that, we know that VLOOKUP can only search if the return column that you want is on the right side. So, just a very quick review of VLOOKUP. So, for example, we have here equals and then VLOOKUP. We want to find the salary of James Tucker. So, we will look for this value at cell F2, comma, and then look it up under column C, drag until column D. And as you could see, the direction of our VLOOKUP is that the employee name, the one we're looking for, is on the left column and the one that we want to show up in column G, the return column as we call it, is under column D. So it's going to the right side and VLOOKUP doesn't have any problems with this kind of setup. So the next uh, argument is we need the number 2 or to signify that we want the second column of the highlighted cells. We have C to D second column and then we want something exactly the same so since we want something exactly the same as the name james tucker not something similar not something that looks like that name we will go for false or like what many people will do they would use zero to represent false and then no problem vlookup can manage to find out that value since it's on the right side now the problem is when you are or when you are looking for a data that is on the left side so for example here we have the employee name under column c and we want the employee codes which are under column a so vlookup doesn't allow that one at least on its own so we're, if you're going to do a vlookup of f2 and then Let's see if we can actually look it up from C to A. And as you could see, even if you highlight from the right to the left, you still get A to C as your array, as if you highlighted from column A going to C. So no difference there. It doesn't go C to A. Okay. And even if you do something like this and put 3 and 0, okay, you will just get an NA. Are not available and as you could see in the formula it reverted back to a to c on the other hand if you put a negative three maybe to connote that you want your vlookup to go to the left rather than to the right this will also result into an error negative numbers are not allowed in this argument of vlookup so there's no way that on its own vlookup can search from uh, the right and then the value that you want to show up or return is on the left side uh, VLOOKUP however can be assisted by other functions in order to solve this dilemma yet before that there's actually a solution as well in Excel we have a formula index and match or more of a workaround and we also have XLOOKUP I will leave this uh, vid I already made videos for this so I will leave the link in the description below. And while you're there, I hope you can hit the hit uh, hit the like button and subscribe so to help us create more videos for you. So we'll not solve this problem using this known solutions index and match and xlookup if you have the newer versions of Excel. We will instead insist on using vlookup only that of course it will be assisted by another function. And this function is the choose function so what does the choose function do so let me first show you so if i say choose and then i say choose uh, the number or the second value of these two what i will get is the letter b because i said choose the second item of this list a b and maybe let's say let's have another one Let's say C, and it will give you the second one. Okay, so if I put here one, I will get the letter A. So you have a list or an array of values, and then the first number dictates which one of them should you select. 
Now, I can put an array formula or an array argument here. If I say here 2 and then 1. So, meaning I'm choosing two elements out of my list. And this will give me B and A. Because I'm not choosing just one value. I'm choosing two of them. Placing them inside the curly brackets will turn them into an array. And I have two, one. So that means the second value and then the first value of my list resulting to two cells for an answer B and A. Take note that if you are using an early version of Excel like Excel 2019 or earlier, it will not result this way. I'm getting two cells here because of the latest version of Excel can display two answers coming out from just one formula. But don't worry, even if you're using an early version of Excel, the solution to our problem will still work. I just want to introduce what the cho uh, choose function will do for us. Now, if I say here choose and then I say three, and then I select column D, because I could select entire columns if I want to. Oh, not entire column. Because I need just the right number of cells. Let's say just this group. And then I have this. And then this. So I now have three ranges or range of cells. And I'm choosing the third one out of them. So enter. And as you could see, I get the employee code. Because I said choose the third range coming out from this list. That would be A1 to A3. Okay, and that's the employee code. If I change this to number 2, so that means I'm selecting this one here, B1 to B13, and that would give me the statuses. Okay, so how will this help us? Remember how we have arrays? We can have, let's say, 1 and 2, and this will give me Two answers, right? A while ago, we have two answers coming out. Now, we also have two answers here. And this time, it's going to be the column D and then the column B. So, as you could see, with this approach, we're actually we're like creating a table coming out from this. And if you notice, the first column that I selected is actually the salary and then the status. That somehow recreated the table that I have here, salary and statuses, but the salary is on the left side while the statuses is on the right. So this is something we can exploit with VLOOKUP. So choose can create entire tables, okay? And we can actually have VLOOKUP look into this. So here's how we're going to do it then. We're going to look up the employee names and then where are we going to look it up so instead of highlighting the entire column okay the entire range like that we're going to use choose because remember choose can select okay values and even create tables and we're going to imitate what we did here so choose the first and second column and we have to identify which is the first column and which is the second column of this recreated table that we're going to have so since i need the employee names first i will then highlight c1 to c50 since this is the column that i'm going to search for james tucker and then comma and then i need the codes which are under column a so la1 and then to A50. So effectively, I am creating a, a smaller set of the table as you could see before. So comma, and then of this smaller set, column C and column A, which one should return the value? We're back to doing the VLOOKUP. So that would be the number two, right? The second column. And then finally, we continue it with the number zero. So we created okay, the table that we're going to look up and that would be C1 to C50 and A1 to A50. And then of those two, we want the second one to return. So enter and we get the code. 
Take note that if you're using an early version of Excel, this may result into an error if you do not hit Control Shift Enter instead of Enter. So once you're done writing the formula for those who are using early versions of Excel, you may need to do a Control Shift Enter to make it work. So double uh, double click to get the rest. Okay. So with this. We have to put a dollar sign. As you can see, we're getting a warning from Excel that something is not right. And that is because we have to put dollar signs for this. We have to make these cells absolute. If you're not familiar what absolute references are, I'll also leave a link in the description below on what this is doing in Excel. So, but in short, this is actually making these cells stay as they are, okay, even if you double click them. And no more warnings. And there it is. So to double check, let's see. James Tucker's employee code is 12462, correct? We have Kevin Burnett. Where's Kevin Burnett here? Let's do a find. So Burnett. There you go. So Kevin Burnett's employee code is 14174. So let's see if our VLOOKUP got it right. So yes, we got it right. And now we got VLOOKUP looking up, well, data from left to right, but it's more of a recreated table of our original data source. So just to show you, this formula here is actually something similar to what we did a while ago. And it somehow recreated the table into something like this. So we selected the employee name first, and this is where our value is being looked up. And then the second column that we want to show up is that of column employee code, as dictated by the choose function. So I hope you liked how VLOOKUP can solve it. Of course, it needs assistance anyway, even index and match technically are two functions working together to make it work. Again, I leave a, a link on how to do index and match. Or you can also use XLOOKUP. This would have been very easy with XLOOKUP. So enter. And that's it. So I hope you like this video. And again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. And I hope to see you in the next videos. Thank you, everyone.